Okay. We got some more missions to do, though. A reminder for those who are watching, um, the mission, The Vault, as of the time of this recording, is still bugged. While we could attempt it, every time I've tried, it does not end. Um, the mission is bugged in a way that the final part of the mission doesn't register as complete. So it doesn't matter how much I try it, it doesn't matter how much I attempt it, it does not register as completed, and I just float in the ether of just waiting for the game to acknowledge that I finished the mission. So yeah, we wait till the uh, the tech nerds fix it, and respectfully, I await them to do it. When we, they fix it, I'll replay the mission, and we'll insert it into the playlist on YouTube appropriately. And but until then, you know, we're just gonna continue on and do our best accordingly. Uh, this episode focusing on the mission Colosseum, trapped on an alien world, I will be forced to fight to survive. That's not at all terrifying. <laughs> my contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The right. Talshiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I do like helping people. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopada system. Okay. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, if you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? He has a point. I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. See, that alone is a good reason to help. He admits, first of all, this is not so much a help me win my war, it's more my people are missing. And, for political points, weapons of mass destruction that the st that Starfleet does not want available to anyone is missing and unaccounted for. This now falls into our purview because this could be a threat to, st to Starfleet. The Riemann resistance is very much in need of your help. So, like, yeah. Totally would fall into the purview of yeah, I can't give you overt help, like overthrowing the Tal Shi'ar, but I definitely can go look uh, look into your ship without needing to contact Starf Starfleet. Especially because, like, yeah, definitely don't want those Thaler run weapons out in the wild without, you know, idea of who has them. See, this is why I like this kind of idea. Um... Obasek is very c clear that, like, hey, I'm not asking you to fight my war. Starfleet said no. Respect. Political shit is political shit. However, you guys are humanitarian, and also you guys are very, very much about your rules. These rules include the Thaleron should not exist. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be out in the open and out um, unsupervised or unchecked. So what are we doing? We're going to find out what the hell fuck's going on. More than 60% of the land mass, uh, land mass on Nopata Prime is classified as a desert. Most temp temperate areas of the planet are on the coast of the Takair Ocean, but violent tides make most of this land uninhabitable. That's terrifying. Desert on one side, dangerous tides on the other. How about I just stay away? <laughs> We may have to do this at some point just to see what it is. Not for the, the rewards or anything, but like, ah, uh, what's it called? Oh, we get a ship out of it? I mean, maybe. Oh, it's a lockbox thing? Maybe not then. It is the, it is the Prodigy ship, which is cool, because, uh, but like, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. 
I might do it. I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It is clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the composition of this debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in the region. Keep scanning, sir, but we will need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are Thaleron weapons on bulks. All right. Then if that is the case, we will uh, first head to the Magna Sidor before making our way over there. That is a lot of debris, now that I'm looking at it. Didn't go in time. My bad. And there's one more. Refilled. Being a bad feeling about that. Scan. I'm not detecting the, v the vessel that Obisex sent us to find, but all of the ships in the debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing a high frequency energy beam that overloaded all their systems. The Raymond ships were hit by this beam. It might have crashed into the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere in the system. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We'll need to get closer before I can attempt to up link with the satellite's communication array. Warning. Ship is under attack. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's hitting us with something. Uh, we're struck. The beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We've managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is off offline. Shields, weapons, and engines, nothing that works. I'm not detecting any life signs of the satellite, sir. If there's a compartment with, with life support systems operating, the beam must be automated. Chief says we'll have enough power in ba uh, the backups for one transport. Recommend we send a team over? Yeah, we're sending a team. Um, yep, Terrell, Flores, and our two engineers, let's go. I wonder if we'll ever swap out our main, uh, crew. We've only swapped one person out so far. Who knows if we'll actually, like, swap out anyone. Flores is pretty good. Um... Tavrell is pretty good. Uh, actually, no, like, we have a good crew. It's just, you know. I, th I think the bigger your ship gets, the more you can have as the bridge crew, so we'll see how that works out. Come on. Almost there. There we go. Captain, the consoles here appear to control the beam that's draining the power from the Syndulla. But there's a security lock preventing access. All right, we'll find a way to unlock it. Let's go. Locked online. Hold from another place, of course. Okay, can't use that. Try this way. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whatever, whoever did this must have, must have thought the console used inventory control was important. I think I can access the back door. The Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processes to run through a series of uh, equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the process to lock up. If we can solve these equations, oh boy, I'm doing math. Great. Okay. 
Okay, so... 1268 plus 3 to mean 3211, that would be 4479. 4479. Wait. Um, A, A needs to be, so I need to cycle, right? Yes. Okay. Lock. Um, 40, 4528 minus 2974, that would be 1654, no, 4, turn that to an 8, I'll turn that to a 4, that'd be 15. 59 times 49, that would be... One carry the eight forty five forty five. Oh, shit. I can, I can do math so fast. Uh, forty nine, nine fifty, forty nine, forty twenty, twenty eight, ninety one. I wasn't sure if it was the 8 or the 9, so I'm like doing it in my head and I'm like, this isn't feeling right. Okay, 2613 divided by 67. Wait, no. 26 or 28? This is 26, okay. Uh, by 67. 67. I think that's a 9. Hell yes! Um, oh my god, so... 87 times 23... Plus... 26, 31... That's... Six, thirty-two. Oh, whoops, my bad. I just I had a discalculate moment. Good. Um nine nine eight eight minus twenty-four sixty-one. That's seven thousand five hundred and twenty-seven. Divide that by forty-three. Please be the one time when I'm smart. Come on. 175. Oh, yeah. Uh, 632. 6362. Minus 5634. Okay. That would be 728. 3,000. You got to trust me on this one? If I get, if I get this? Captain, we solved the equations that were causing the issues in the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the console, con controlling the security locks. And then we should be able to access all the other satellites' major operations. Yes. Let it be known I hate math. I understand its importance and I respect it, but I hate it. <laughs> this is definitely Thaleron, they said, so we got how much? Oh, tr tr uh, Trionium. My bad. Oh, it's Thaleron. Ooh, 
long range scanners over in overriding selection algorithm ship identifying um, 7599. Captain, the cons console controls the satellite's targeting function. I'm not sure there's a way to disable whatever it is that. Is it is that is disabling systems of our ship, but we can hit this satellite to target something else. We may have a chance of prying our ship free. You like the idea of not being targeted. Uh, access long range sensors. Um, currently targeted, please select option. Expand range to 1000 kilometers. Derelict Hulk. Um, identification program, object detected, vessel disabled, object detected, dear left hulk, non-functional. Um, examine telemet, tele, yeah. examine telemetric data for all identified targets. That is a lot of math, holy shit. Access targeting control. Turning command of the satellite is uh, ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. Its strength will hold on us is weaker. But we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long range communication. Okay, that's a start. We, we, got, we got things going. We'll get all the other two things. This is why if I was a captain of a starship, I would desperately be dependent on my bridge crew, because uh, I'm only so smart, and math is not one of my strong suits. I can do many a things. Quick math, not so much. Power save, no disengage, priority process priority power overwritten. Okay, we've got that, access the Please move. Yep. Console looks like it controls the satellite's power supply. Since we weren't able to free our ship by targeting something else, perhaps we can d decrease the power to the satellite's weapons, and the Sundula might be able to break free. I do like that idea. Update power save modes. Um, let's see. Current is power user. Triggering save mode. Power location full. Let's go with economical. Power allocation minimal. It's good. Um, restore factory. No, do not restore settings in session. Uh, since we're able to continue priority values. Found that if the Sindula does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, then it that will that it will engage a, to, uh, a lower power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like the energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about the life support. We will hold the ship stable and keep working. Okay. So long as the Sindula sits still, we're fine. One more control console, and we should be able to free her and be out of this fucking mess. All right, let's go. All right. Console controls satellite general operations. Captain, we managed to minimize the power output of the satellite. I think if we keep at it, we can switch the satellite's controls over to sleep mode. I do like sleep mode. Uh, operation state to off. Captain's system's coming back online and all over the ship we have weapons, shields, even the replicators are working again. Nice. Transport is staying by, sir. If we can beam you back as soon as you're ready. Yeah, that's a good idea. Beam us back. Five to beam over. Well, that went terribly um, uneventful.
That being said, I don't know if it actually worked. We're hoping for the best here. <laughs> For all we know, I could have made things. But I doubt it. Hey, what the? Um, I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Where am I? Those are a lot of cages. I'm in a cave. Now what? If you fail to comply with command, now we fight we or we we'll die. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. So whoever's holding us has the technology to disable our weapons, which is interesting. Got a falchion. Okay. Got um a batlet. Ooh. Remember to equip your new weapon. I'm picking up everything because you never know. Um, I'll put the we got the sword, I'll put the batlet on in a second. Okay, enter the arena. I don't like the sound of that. That's a big ass sword. Commencing test one. No part in desert Akari. Entering testing area. So we're just fighting bugs. Enemy targets on sensors. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Commencing test two. Releasing Warrigals now. Those are worse. Proceeding to test three. The fuck is that thing? Is, it, is that meant to be like a... is it a Mugato? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, come on. No, no. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Why are they zapping him? He didn't do anything wrong. Neither of us did anything wrong. We all fought like we were instructed. Yeah, yeah, back in my cage. I got it. Yeah, it's about right.
What do you want? Prisoner 1478, who are you? My name is Slamek. I am part of a resistance. Perhaps you have heard of it? About a week ago, I was part of a crew ferrying weapons from one base to another. When we passed through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter, and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people when a group of soldiers found us. They took us here and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. That is all I know. What kind of soldiers are we talking here? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was, took care to conceal his identity. Any ideas what they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I the only person you've paired with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Only a psychopath would be impressed by mindless killing. You're a psychopath. I do not wish to continue talking with you. Sorry about what I said. Can we continue? Now I recall. You were working on all those errands when we were attacked. I managed to escape on the shuttle, and some of us signed on with the freighter. As you can see, things didn't work out so well after that. You wound up working as a... Stavador to make ends meet? What happened to that? But instead of linking with the Resistance, you just let yourself get cat. We were transporting we a shipment of Thaderon weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything, that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. Adding on to what we saw in the very beginning, I like how the Riemann Resistance is very, very determined to fight tooth and nail with whatever means necessary. However, they're also going through the extreme measures of preventing any um, unintended consequences, if meaning they have to give up their advantages. I don't know who is responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was, took care to conceal his identity. Okay, but Star Trek nerds will agree, how many lights were there? That's my question. How many lights? Uh, was this the first time you were interrogated? No. I have been questioned by these people several times before. My reluctance to answer their questions earned me this shock collar. Refusal to help them now is quite painful. Interestingly enough, this was the first time I've been questioned about another participant in the arena. They asked how you treated me and if you had said anything about why you were here. They even wanted to know if I thought we could become friends. Someone thinks you are very important. Did you tell them anything? No. Um, why would they want to know those things? 
I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Um, are there other prisoners being forced to fight? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged, unless we are fighting. How many fight? Um, is there a way out of here? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. You think we can get one of those cards? Can I trust you? Do we have a choice? I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Let's get the hell out of here then. feeling we're gonna regret all this. Do I have all these things? Yeah, I have everything. Okay. Wasn't sure if they had different things on different sides of the thing. I got I check. Start with the sword and we'll work our way up. The fuck? Test scenario four activated. A hollow released. Sandworm. Tentacle things, okay? We need more help! I'll try to free the other prisoners! You fight the worms! Okay, that's one down. Consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the elder worm. Consoles? What are you talking about? What are you talking about the consoles, bro? Ah, those consoles. Got it. Well, there was one turret. I was kind of hoping that would stay. Um, no. Why would I join something called the First Order? <laughs> I don't join fascists. First Order is definitely fascist. Anyway. Um. Can I destroy these? Ow. Okay, that was just rude. Why am I moving slow? You better be actually getting those extra uh, prisoners out for us. Also, I just realized we're hitting the Batlip theme. Come on, Pokemon. Just like last time, use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. I ain't here. There's another set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them. 
while the worm is distracted. Enemy target contact. Um, yeah, I've been hit. I can't continue, my friend. You need to protect me. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Stop spraying us. These fucking worms out. Get fucked. Rejuvenate, rejuvenate. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Live in the arena is not as easy. Uh, flee with the rest of the prisoners. Yeah, I'm trying. Nope, that was definitely not a good idea. You're not on our side. What are you doing then? Um, use the console by the entrance to our cell. Oh. Yeah, I love how they like were very clear on that. Okay. These prisoners. Instead of the consoles on the metal wall, use them to, while the worm is distracted. I'm assuming that you mean over here. Yep. Okay. You mean over here. Keep this going. Keep this going. The worm destroyed the metal wall. Run! That's our way out. All right. Let's go. Maybe told twice. Question is, where are we going? Base? Here? What did they want with us? And what is that device? I don't think it's what we think it is. Okay, let's do that. We got the, the, the thing dampening down through the waste pipe. Oh, come on. We're not, we're not doing Shawshank, are we? doing a Shawshank Redemption. Um, access test parameters. Project goal to develop a matrix of alpha quadrant species. We must determine which species can be pitted against one another for maximum devastating effect to each. Tests will not be limited to sentient species as the Iconians have technology that will allow us to effectively introduce new flora and fauna. Oh, great. Um, humans and Klingons show the greatest proclivity towards fighting when there is no chance of victory. Breaking a Vulcan emotional control will usually render him helpless. 
They have no ability to process the emotion that they have so zealously suppressed. Majorans will fight to the death to defend homes or loved ones, but they may reject a fight that doesn't threaten what they hold dear. Betazotes will detect betrayal among almost instantly, but their telepathic sense can be overwhelmed by extreme pain or violent thoughts. This can allow an infiltrator to escape their notice. Possible to break the Klingon Empire may be the Gorn. Oh shit. More than 77% of Gorn captive chose to help an another Gorn before assisting a Klingon, even if that choice resulted in the death of the Klingon. Erosion are formidable in single combat, but they're fractured. Society reduces the their threat level significantly. I have been in it. unable to separate a Trill symbiote from its host for a separate study. Two attempts to implant a symbiote into a host from another species have failed. Both symbiote and host have died within hours. Undine, quite interesting. I request more time to study this race in greater detail. Captured along with a small group of Riemann soldiers by De Desert Patrol, interrogation and conclusive recommended use for holographic con conditioning. Single combat test, subject was wounded on four occasions but survived all tests. Recommendation, prisoner 1478 may be suitable subject for team testing or alternate study. Forward data to Colonel Hakib for evaluation. That's depressing. Did I read all that? Hold on. Oh, personal logs. You've contacted me again. My associates have two tasks for me now. First is the destruction of the Remans. I understand their anger. The Remans are attempting to flee above their st to rise above their station. They're mindless slaves, and they need to respect their betters. That's wrong. Taurus was able to control them after st after Starfleet was ca being captured. Her surviving Remans developed delusions of self-worth. Troublemaker who calls himself Obisek. Who is he to tell them that they can be free? Does a beast of burden have the right to choose its own destiny? It, if the problem were not so irksome, it would be almost comical. I will present Obisek, Obisek's broken corpse to the Iconians in tribute. They will reward me richly for my loyalty. Second task will be more effort. The Iconians want data. They want the species of the Alpha Quadrant tested until they break. They want to know their weaknesses and how to exploit them. They want to see their strengths and know how to destroy them. We'll admit that I take no, I mean, take no little pleasure in this task. It'll be quite entertaining to make some of those self-righteous humans turn on one another. Or push one of those blustering braggarts from Kronos until that he begs for death. Oh, in the Vulcans. I will make the Vulcans weep, and I will savor each tear. I know an, of an abandoned coliseum in the Napata system. We can find a way to lure test subjects there. Oh. Fascinating. Can I destroy the gate? Um, access communications. Okay. Our master's patience wears thin, Hakiv. Time grows short, and still you have not provided all of the species data for they require. Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I provide you with necessary technology to modify the satellite and the Napata system, but you lit your little snare is, is slow. What we need is more test subjects. Perhaps a small colony would be enough. I will contact you again with the details. Is that it? Uh, transport log. Napata... Oh, Romulan Warbird, okay. Bree 3, Dara 4, ooh. Hey, what else do you got? Yeah, I figured. God damn it. Hoping it wouldn't do that, but, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Let's go, I guess. Ugh. Into the pipes we go. What 
Watch out. There are Romulan Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy. Crap. About right. So we're escaping into the desert. Remember how I said I didn't want to be in the desert? <laughs> There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. The rock, get to the rock. meant that rock thing. Oh, well, that's... Okay. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate, they won't detect us. Hope it stays that way. They didn't see us. Let's move on. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. You we can need to go find on. A place to rest for a moment. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely get you somewhere to rest. Come on. Fun fact, the scorpion fighter, for those who don't know, was actually seen in um, one of the Star Trek movies, specifically the one with Tom Hardy. The card and data fly one. Caused a lot of damage. This plant has a, a, has anal 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 just just qualities. It won't be as strong as anything you have at Med Bay, but on the Syndulla, but it'll be able to take the edge off for his pain. All right, so we can look for more of it. It looks like it would work as an antiuretic. Should help alleviate his fever. Good. What are you? Disinfectant, yes. We need seed pods, a plant sample, and ranch bark. Just gotta stay alive until I get back. One. Two. There's the third one. Look on a cat. That cactus had icicles on it? Oh, okay, yeah, in the desert it does get freezing. Duh. And any moisture would definitely cause any kind of like icicle. That would be weird to see though. Like I know it's possible, but still like the concept. Just the idea of being in a desert at night and be like, oh look, fucking icicles on a damn cactus. What? This tree bark. Okay, and now we just need to do one more, which is gonna go 
this way. How close? Well, we got a ways to. It's all the way over here. Taking the long way. The fact that they're looking for every Alpha Quadrant species, not the, I mean, not Alpha Quadrant, every uh, Quadrant species, not just the Alpha Quadrant, but like, in general, very concerning, because the Iconians, if I remember right, they were here long before us, like, th this is like prehistory species, then who just vanished, so it's like, okay, well, what do you want all of us for? The obvious answer is an invasion type question, I guarantee it. But still. What are they looking for specifically? Is it actual weaknesses, or is it like who could they use to make them better? Giving much of the Reaper vibes from uh, Mass Effect. Hey, shit, Thank you, my friend. I'm feeling better now. Part of me thinks that your reaction was because of the whole uh, swimming through the waste pipe while wounded. Probably well, we didn't do you any good. The smart person would have been like, no, we're going to treat your wounds, then go through the waste pipe. But we didn't do that. This way, right? Yep. Into the canyon. Now that we're in the canyon, we shouldn't have to worry about the fighters anymore. Just the local wildlife. You Keep say, your eyes open. You say that like it's meant to make me feel better. Oh, well, it's not the fighters we need to worry about, it's the local wildlife. You say that as if that's going to make it easier. Isn't the wildlife deadly? Like, how scared do I need to be? <laughs> Especially without my weapon. Actually, hold on. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, weapons are back online. Hell yes. We're back in business. Why are we still on alert? Okay, no, now we're good. Okay, so far so good. We took out three of them. more. Good job. That could have gone a lot worse, but we, we uh we fought through together. Uh the unusual fifty? Fuck. There are no anomalies, though, so... It's a big-ass moon, though. Probably why the tides they described in the, in the uh, scan report were so dangerous, because when the moon's that close... Only fucking imagine how bad the oceans are. The weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. Like what? The search patrols are moving on. 
We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? The temperature is dropping. If we don't find warmth, we risk hypothermia. We can't use a phaser on the rocks here to heat them. They're too porous. We will need firewood. Okay. Look to the dry plants. If we can collect tinder, kindling, and logs, we will be able to create a fire that will last through the night. Smart. Okay. I can respect the, uh, the knowledge. Especially the whole, like, okay, these rocks won't ignite if we phase or burn them. That actually is helpful. Also, I like the bit of lower drop. That fa uh, phaser heating a rock that's too porous won't work. Actually... Kind of cool thing to know about the phasers. It gives the um, it gives the knowledge that the type of radiation you're using is not conducive with porous material. Making me wonder why don't we just use porous armor or uh, to prevent phaser? No, because not everyone uses phasers. Never mind. I mean, some cultures just use disruptors, which are completely different than phasers. So yeah, that would that would serve very little purpose. Never mind. It was a thought. I mean, it'd be great if you do like uh, phaser versus phaser, but but their cultures aren't doing last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops anymore. Nope. Fuck you. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Why is this place so open? I'm getting a bad feeling about this pl this place too. This is like prime trap territory. Into the cave, into the cave. The temperature is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues the sun rises side of the mountain. We could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My ship isn't far from here. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. I get the... Uh, you're either... You're extremely helpful, but I'm also like, hmm... Why? Why am I getting a bad feeling about you? There she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. The stuff on that uh, console back at the uh, arena com combined with what he's doing. I don't know, I just get a bad feeling that something's up with him. Can't put my finger on it and I can't prove it. It's, just, it's, it's a vibe. Anomaly. Yeah, that's definitely a crash ship. Right? We should check to see if the emergency beacon survived the crash. But in the likely event it didn't, we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon. You mean this thing here? 
There's no way to get this vessel fly again. The damage done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. If the emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized on the crash, it'll probably be buried under 30 meters of rock and sand in the singularity drive on the cargo bay. I do, however, find a backup generator with a minute, minuscule amount of power left. If you had the right components, probably construct a makeshift subspace beacon. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are, but it should do the trick. That's something. Like, it's a clear start. We'll, st we'll, we'll, we'll work with that. We got one piece. Not the one piece, but one piece. Uh, what do you mean? Navigation beacon? left is the subspace distortion inverter. Take parts from this. Attach emergency beacon to the ship's power source. Alright, now where's the power source? Assuming it's back where we were, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm betting. You know, why aren't you helping? Why aren't you finding shit? Like, don't get me wrong, I like the idea that you're, like, keeping near me, but I'm also like, bro, go do something yourself. Why you gotta, why do you gotta be up my ass? Wait for rescue outside. Oh, boy. I don't like this. Those aren't, oh, no. Did you think you could run from me? There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. I knew something was the up. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dera system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject, but this time, no. This time, I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? No! Okay, like I'm not, I'm not bitching about my being saved, but if I remember right, doesn't like if you're being transported and you get shot, doesn't it still affect you? I apologize for Slamic's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. No, he's right. Like, it is, we just confirmed through a loophole that this is not an internal affair. This is definitely an external problem. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are okay, using no, I, the Tau. That, that's, you know, next time. That's the beginning of the next mission, so we gotta, we gotta wait for that one. Um, let's see. Let's get... Approved EPS flow for electroplasma system. Full impulse emergency shunt during full impulse. Let's 
Impulse expertise. Eh, I mean, yeah, we should have that. We don't have any hanger pets, so we'll do with this one. Okay. All right, so that was the episode. Coliseum, there's still two more to go. We have Cutting the Cord and Darkness Before the Dawn. We finish the Romulan mystery arc, which I should be able to record fairly easily enough that we'll be moving on to the Cardassian struggle soon. I do like how there's a lot of chapters to go through, and I do not even know how far we're going. Um, New Romulus seems fine. I think that's the, uh, yeah, the Romulan Republic. A Borg one would be cool because it involves the Voyager, so I like that. Um, no, but like, we're, we're getting close to this, and I like how Sila has been like a side character, even though she's in charge of the Romulan Empire. Because it really shows this is not under her control. This is the Tal Shiar, which goes to show the Tal Shiar is always fucking up something. Um, next episode, we'll do the next mission, and we'll pick up where we left off. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching this episode. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the, do, hit the things, do the stuff, you know, all that crap. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.